Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Oh, are you saying good morning, everyone? I made this duplo thing. Oh, wow. Very nice. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Crew, family crew. So Christopher and I thought we were going to be sneaking off early in the morning, but I got a call from the hospital delaying the induction slightly. So now we are leaving like an hour and a half later than originally planned and everybody's awake and we get to do one final goodbye. So I'm really excited about that. I've got my brother bear shirt on. Yeah, you do. I've got my big sister shirt on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, pajama pants. <laughs> I've got my big brother shirt on. Oh, King Stinky. And they don't actually smell too bad. But Parker act Parker washed his, which is great news. Am I allowed to say that? No, Parker didn't wash his. He's dirty. Bye bye. Do they have to keep you for labors? Or can you go home while you're in labor? No, for the, they'll have to keep me the whole time. So like labors could be like three days long. They can be, or they can be just a couple hours. So it's a mystery. Are yours normally a couple hours? Well, this isn't really a normal delivery for me. Well, we'll see. They're gonna break the water. And when Duncan's water broke, he was Duncan's born. Water broke? Yeah, well, when my water broke with Duncan, he was born about eight hours later. And when, when, my, wa and when my water broke with Bailey, she was born 45 minutes later. Really? Yeah. And when I auto work with Luke, he was born an hour later, maybe. This guy, 15 minutes later. No, 25 minutes later. That's why the doctor didn't make it. Luke was 12 hours after my water broke. Then 12 hours. He's about close to Duncan, though. You, my water broke, and it was probably two hours later, maybe an hour. It's pretty fast. It'll be different though, because this time my water will be broken. And yesterday I was a two. I might be more dilated in the face today. The doctor did like a really intense membrane sweep and we'll see if I've had any progress and having the water break might make that change quickly or it might not. So we will just see how it goes. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. I will see you very soon. I will see you. I will see you in two weeks. Sooner than two weeks. I mean like I two you. days. Hopefully. Two to three days. I will see you in two to three days. I will see you so soon. I'm coming to you, Luke. I'm coming. I'm coming. Aw, thank you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. We love bye -bye. you. See you soon. You are going to do amazing. Thank you. You're amazing. Can you be a big help to Graham and Auntie Panties? Please call me. Okay. Love you. What do you want? You want me to call you right after baby's born? So since we are headed in so early, we haven't had a chance to get like a really good meal. We are stopping very quickly at Starbucks. I'm getting a little iced tea, like an impossible breakfast sandwich and a pumpkin loaf. And Christopher's getting an impossible breakfast sandwich and some coffee. So he didn't bring his iced coffee. I wonder if he drank it already. And this is wild. Like I wasn't expecting to do an induction. I'm really excited though that my doctor offered to do it this way. And that's what made me really feel more open and like into it. At first he was like, but we don't have any appointments. So like that's a way we could do it, but it's not gonna happen. I was like, oh, okay. And then they called with the appointment and I was like, yeah, like let's do this. I feel like it's very similar to like if my water were to break out in public or at home. And I was starting to get a lot of anxiety at night where I was like having so much trouble sleeping. And again, you guys know sleep is priority for me. I just want to make sure I'm as well rested as I can be before baby. I was really losing sleep over the idea of me going like, am I in labor or am I not in labor? Do I need to run to the hospital right now? Is my water going to break any second? And that's like all I was thinking for a day or two because it really messes with you to be this pregnant. <laughs> So last night was stressful for me too. That's another thing, like a concern I have with like inductions is the anxiety leading up to it. For me, it's higher. Other people, maybe not, but for me it's higher because I, I feel like 
when you know something's gonna happen. Like the first day of school is the next day. I was always the person who like didn't get any sleep the day before the first day of school. So for me, it's just like the night before of an, an event when that's all you're thinking about is a difficult thing to put like a time frame on it. And I also think it's like kind of fun to go into labor naturally and just like there is excitement behind it. But that excitement was turning into kind of really intense anxiety and no sleep. So it was becoming a little unhealthy. And I think that this is a good choice, though I am still nervous about it. It's funny because this is, you know, my sixth go and I'm nervous, you know, like I, I, I feel nervous. So <laughs> I've been trying not to think about it too much and just think of it kind of more as like a regular doctor appointment and like, oh yeah, I just have a doctor appointment early, early, early in the morning. Got to pack a lot of stuff for, grab the pillow and the toothbrush. <laughs> so that's how I've been approaching it so far. We made it to the hospital and uh, the doctor hasn't shown up yet, but Jessica's just getting all checked in and they're checking on like all the different things. She is gonna get a COVID test in a little bit. And yeah, we're here. We're gonna have a baby. Here she comes. I don't think my back part is fully buttoned. Oh, okay. So. Look at that belly though. Look, do you see this baby? So this baby's coming out today. We're taking bets on how big we think he is. Christopher said, what was it? Nine three. Nine three. I said 9.5, but we'll see. We'll see if he beats Parker. <laughs> He's already in here longer. What was most Parker again? 9.9. Nine. Oh yeah, he was a big guy. Yeah, but this is our most cooked baby. <laughs> I've gone the longest with him that I've gone with any other babies. A lot has happened. Jessica's hooked up to the monitors. The doctor came in. He broke her water. He ruptured her water at 9.42 a.m. And she's got an IV now, and she's got all of her bracelets, and she's all taped up and <laughs> connected to all the things. How are you feeling? Good. So, like, I've, I feel like I have like a little anxiety, but it's like a little better now. Like, that's, it's, it's done. Like, there's no going back. <laughs> so it's like, okay, the decision has been made. There was no meconium when the water broke, which is really nice to hear. That's a good thing. And also the cord didn't prolapse. So like those are two things that can happen. Um, and they didn't. <laughs> it's 10, 10 a.m. now. And I think I just had my first like contraction post the water breaking. So yay, things are moving along. One thing, like the rules in my hospital right now, just thought I'd make a note of it, is that when somebody comes in, I put my mask on but then if we're alone in the room and it's a pretty big, like spacious room, I'm allowed to have my mask off. Um, Christopher's keeping his on, just I think out of respect. They did do a COVID test and it was like one of the deep back ones and we're waiting for the results of that. So I don't know if, um, if the protocol will like change when they get the results or not, um, but they said it would be about an hour for the results there. And it's just kind of wild. It's just kind of like my water's like gushing out of me. It's warm, kind of cozy, but I feel like I need more towels. And we're waiting to get like 20 to 30 minutes of a good read of the baby's heartbeat and of um, like the contraction monitor thing that's around me. And then as soon as they get that like amount of data, because I am not currently medicated in any way, like I, I haven't done any Pitocin or Epidural or anything, I'll be able to move around the room and get up and kind of detach from the monitors and stuff. And then like every 30 minutes, they'll put me back on and double check. So that's how today is looking so far. That's the plan. I do feel like as soon as I'll be able to like get up and um, the baby's able to like let gravity, happen a little bit. I don't know, getting that contraction already made me feel, and also like the fact that when I do move and like kind of move forward, um, water gushes. So I think things are like going in a good direction. We will see. It's, it's wild. Like I can't wait to hold my baby. I can't wait to like hold him. Oh, I can't wait either. Like, I'm so excited. Yeah. I, I keep getting these little moments of like, oh, we're having a baby. Like, I'm still in know. shock. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but I have these little moments, like these little moments of like, oh wow, that's gonna happen soon. Yeah, like wait, all those feelings happen? of like yeah. holding a tiny little new person and like hearing them cry and like cuddling them and just all that stuff. Like, yeah. uh, I'm excited about it. I know. I, like, it's funny because like right now I'm so in the moment. I'm like, okay, well, we got to do this whole like labor thing. I got like, <laughs> like that's what I'm thinking. And then I'm like, wait, then I get the baby at the end. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so um, I keep like trying to remind myself of that and like to think in that direction instead of being like stressed or worried. Even or... like going, bringing the baby home and meeting the kids, like that's a ways off. That's a ways that's off. A ways but, off. Like, wow. but like, that's gonna be so fun. So and Colleen cool. will be there and my parents and like, it'll just be really cool. It'll be, it'll be really, really cool. special. Did a full 20 minutes on the monitor with Jessica, and now she's getting 20 minutes off the monitor to like go to the bathroom, walk around, and right now she is. Oh, my birthday ball! I don't know if my skirt is. I'm not. I'm not getting your lower regions, so. I'm just bouncing. Bouncing on a Hopefully birthday ball. Now. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel okay. And I'm really happy because. I'm seeing like some contractions and like stuff's happening because I think one of my bigger worries was like, what if we broke the water and then like nothing happened and you get into like a snowball effect of like intervention. So I'm hoping we're still avoiding like too much intervention, but we'll see. You never know. We've got to be open-minded in labor and delivery. You never know what could happen. Look at this contraction right here. You can see it. That bump right there is a contraction that happened. I'm doing a lunch, so my amniotic fluid is a flowing. <laughs> my water is broken and <laughs> it's coming through. That means that I'm doing something, right? Let's go this way. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a lot of At least it's warm. <laughs> Jessica's back on the monitor. You can hear it going. Oh little baby. All right, they brought in some food. Let's see what Jessica got here. It looks like some grilled cheese and some mashed potatoes and some used by 221 salad. 221? Like February? September. September 2. Okay. 21. I was like, whoa, how did they do that? Some golden Italian dressing and condiments. Um, ooh, jalapeno hot sauce. Yeah. Put that on your potatoes. And she ordered coffee. That coffee is for me, actually. And then this is iced tea. I didn't think that they would let me have food, so. So that's pretty exciting. She gets to eat while she's while she's doing the the laboring, and um, she's back on the monitor now. She was off for a little bit on her ball again, and now she's back on the monitor. It's about. 1 p.m. right now. It's really just kind of a waiting game at this point, I think. Just seeing if her body like reacts to having the water broken and starts really contracting and opening up and all the things. Okay, so Teddy really, really wants to stay inside. <laughs> He is loving this life up in the uterus. No, you. And I really haven't had like any change, barely and it is 3 p.m. So we've just kind of been sitting here. A lot of it is like keeping me on monitors and like trying to make sure his heart rate is showing up on monitors. And then I get like 20 or 30 minutes off and I feel like I haven't had like enough of that time to like be on the, the birthing ball and stuff, but um, we just actually like installed, you can't see it, but I was gonna show you, but there's like a gown here and all that. But we like installed portable monitors on me. You can hear it beeping now. And that basically means that I have monitors and they're stuck to me, but I can still move around a bunch, which is what I really wanted to do because I feel like I need to help him get down a little bit. Like I need to be bouncing or like rotating my hips on the birthing ball, or something, use that gravity. And then because nothing's really changed and we're kind of on a clock because my water's broken, um, we did put me on, let me show you my arm. We did put me on the lowest dose you can have of Pitocin. So I'm on Pitocin now. They just got it in there. And they're basically just seeing if like my body just needs a little push or Teddy just needs a little push. Come on, sir. <laughs> and seeing if we can kind of move things along with a little bit of this Pitocin. I have had labors push along with Pitocin before. As I've said before, I have an odd like contractions history where like I'll have an irritable uterus where like things will be going and then they'll stop and then they'll go and then they'll stop. And then I also have times like this where it's like 
nothing's really happening and then all of a sudden it happens at once. So we're kind of hopeful that this is just the boost that we need to get things going. So we'll see. All right, it is a little after 6 p.m. and some movement has started. Jessica is five centimeters and fully effaced and moving along. How are you feeling? Well, um, it, it hurts a little bit more than I'm used to at five centimeters. Okay. Pitocin. Yeah, oh, that, that Pitocin. So I'm glad that things are moving along because like, I, Teddy, he's a little trickster. I don't know, I don't know what his deal is. I don't know if he's really big or like, what? But this is so interesting that I went overdue with him so much and then it's taking so long to like have him come through when my water's broken. Like it's just very different. So I don't know. I'm in, I'm entertaining the idea of an epidural, but I don't know. I, might, I seem to be having a little bit faster change now. So it could be that I'm entertaining the epidural because I'm starting like things are progressing, progressing quickly. You have one right now? I think she's about to start pushing. So, Teddy has been born. He was born at 6.55 p.m. He is eight pounds, 13 ounces. Jessica did so well. The doctor made it in, by the way, barely. Um, he was in shorts and like a t-shirt. Like, I've never seen him be. He said that was his first time ever delivering in shorts, so I am champion. So Jessica, Jessica won the shorts championship. She may not have had her water break in his office, but she did end up having the, uh, being the only patient that he's <laughs> delivered with in shorts. So she got that. Jessica did not end up getting an epidural. She was thinking about it. They checked her and she had progressed a lot. She went from like, uh, four centimeters to seven centimeters very quickly. And then very shortly after that, she was like, I think he's coming. 
So the on-call doctor that they have here came in and was ready to, to catch Teddy, but uh, the, the other doctor came in right at the last minute and he delivered the baby with Jessica. I think it was like two and a half pushes, I wanna say. It was like a, a big push and then like a little in-between push and then the next contraction, big push, and he was completely out. So Teddy latched on for uh, breastfeeding right away, and he's got a good latch, and he's been nursing for a few minutes now. We haven't called the kids yet. We're gonna do that in a little bit. And um, they're just having this wonderful bonding time right now, Jessica and Teddy. I haven't gotten to hold him yet. I'm like, He's so precious. I'm very excited to hold him. Yeah. I haven't gotten to hold him yet. So uh, that's coming up for me. <laughs> Something I'm looking forward to. So I texted somebody at 6.15 and I had just been checked and I, I said in the text, I'm five centimeters dilated now and basically like, I, I don't, it hurts so bad. I'm considering an epidural. I don't know why it's hurting so bad at this point. Like usually it's not until later that I feel like this. And then Teddy was born at 6.55. So that's how much changed between 6.15 and 6.55 and why I was feeling uncomfortable. Could you imagine if we waited and like didn't know that you were at like five centimeters or whatever and then and then tried to drive here? I know, that's why I'm always weird. Hi, Papa. You're so perfect. You want to be held by your daddy? Just checking in with you. Hi. Hi. Good. Good. Are you guys being good? Yeah. yeah. We cleaned up the whole house. The whole house? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Duncan? He's right here. He's right here. Oh, hi, Duncan. Is Teddy born yet? You want to see? How are you? You still hold the record, Parker? 
Eight pounds? Eight pounds! 13 ounces. I still hold the record! <laughs> oh my word, I want to hug him! Can I see it? Yay! Oh, hi, Sophie! Oh, he's perfect. Hey, Mari! Are you okay? How are you? My baby brother. Look, he that's your is new 40 minutes old. Is that, you see the baby? Oh my God, you were talking to him. He has, no, that's his new Do you brother. see the baby? He's got, um, Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. Really say hi, Teddy. <laughs> Why is mom going like that? He's sucking his head oh, off. so cute. Oh my word, oh my word. <laughs> I want to boop his nose. Yeah. Because that's what I, I really want to boop his nose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we cannot believe it. Hey, can I have some carrots in my eggs? So cute. Look, we got all swaddled up. He's so cozy. They just transferred us to the maternity ward. And this little guy is doing so good with his nursing. He nursed on the way here. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Look at his face. Look at that little face and that little voice. So in this room, we have the baby bassinet right here. And there's a rocking chair, which was not in the other room. And the same style bed couch thing. Obviously the bed. I feel like every every time I try and update, there's people coming in and, and stuff needs to get done and reports need to be made and the, all that stuff. So I'm not sure if I've said everything all the way through. But the most important thing is, we're so excited, he's so perfect, and we are so happy. Squeak. All right, it is 10.15 right now, p.m. 
and um, we're kind of getting to like a settle down point. I think they're going to come in at probably midnight and check vitals on Jessica and the baby and hopefully they'll take out Jessica's IV at that point. What's this thing called? It's like a, it's a port? IV port? Maybe. Mm. I don't know what it's called. It's not like a full IV to a bag, it's just the little like thing. We think it might be called the port, but I think there's a different name for it. It's an access point of some sort. Anyway, we're both pretty tired. It was an early morning. Obviously, I'm not as tired as Jessica, who was in labor all day and then pushed a baby out. But I think once that happens, like your adrenaline kicks in and you're like awake. And I think she's getting to the point where it's like, all right, I could probably sleep now. So I'm gonna turn this little couch into a bed and try and go to sleep. Oh, uh, Teddy has not pooped or peed yet. That's what we're on the lookout for, but he has nursed. And one of my jobs is this little chart here and I write down what time he starts nursing and for how long on each side and what time he had wet diapers and what time he had bowel movements. And they check all this before checking us out to make sure that the digestive system's doing its thing and that he's like taking to the breastfeeding or bottle feeding if that's what we were doing with him. But uh, he seems to be doing really well with the breastfeeding, so pretty excited about that. Anyway, I think that's where we're gonna end it for today. Um, I, we're just so happy, he's so perfect, so cute, so cuddly, and um, and we will be vlogging tomorrow as well because we just wanna remember this time. It's such a, a precious, wonderful time, and we always look back on these videos with the kids and um, just have such happy memories from them, and so I'm so excited to watch this with the kids I wish, later. I wish we could just like film the whole thing without any editing and without any anything, just like a 24 hour live stream. <laughs> you would do a 24 hour live stream? Not like a live stream, like but like 24 hour footage. You know what I mean? Like I just wanna Just like, relive the whole day. All of it. Well, that's it. Unless something really cute or eventful happens. Hopefully lots of cute things will happen and not very many eventful things will happen <laughs> tonight. But uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.